It seems like the computer projects keep coming. I just picked up this Ryzen here. This is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Uh, OEM package comes with an OEM fan, which we're not going to be using. Uh, it's used, and uh, instead of just slapping it into my computer, I figure since we already did a comparison between the 3500 and the 3600 that I'm currently running, uh, it would be kind of interesting to know when we're going up from a Ryzen 5 3600 to a Ryzen 7 30. 700x how much of an improvement you will gain from this step so now we now need to take the cpu out the old one ever wonder which orientation um, here's writing on the socket and writing on the CPU that usually lines up and then at the same time that little dot with that one corner uh, where there is actually less pins over there also lines up So now we have the Ryzen 5 3600 out, Ryzen 7 3700X in, and uh, thermal paste all back installed. And now we're gonna check if it posts. Let's hope so. And then we're gonna run those three benchmarks Cinebench, Time Spy, and Superposition by Unigen. Okay, let's do it. Not promising, it just restarted. Oh, here we go. All right, as you can see, Ryzen 7 3700X, X6 uh, core, processor speed 3600 megahertz. Um, looks like my RAM was kicked off of its profile. So let's do that real quick. XMP 2.0. Everything else we leave at auto. We didn't do any modifications on the last run. We're just going to save and see if it boosts, boosts, boots with uh, those settings. I hope so. All right. Uh, let's just check that we don't have anything on. We don't have any uh, Afterburner or CTR or Ryzen Master running. So that's good. And now we're just going to start with Cinebench. So now um, is our old result still in here? There's a Ryzen 53500 and here's a Ryzen 53600. And those numbers look fairly familiar. Yeah, 8651 was our last result. Now we're going to start the multi core.
made myself another cup of coffee and we got a result so the multi-core score is pretty impressive 12,448 versus the Ryzen 5 3600 8651 which is to be expected because that only has 12 threads now we have 16 threads available now we're gonna go and do the single core that might be more a level playing field let's see you guys want to get a, get a little closer okay here we go single core A single core score of 1305 I'm actually really happy about that because that is a better single core score that we had with a 3600 uh, let me let's see here uh, with a 3600 with the one that I have we had 1046 now we're at 1305 so that's pretty good uh, since we just ran Cinebench, I just wanted to take a quick peek at the CPU temperature. We're at 30, 34 degrees and it's trending downwards pretty quickly. So my uh, thermal paste application worked and my cooler is doing its job. And GPU, same deal. So that's good. All right, and now we're going to, yeah, first start the demo and then the benchmark. So let me spare you the demo. That's pretty good. Uh, so time spy, we have a total score of 4,473. That's an increase of about 120 points from 4,357 and then we have the graphics score stayed almost the same almost you know but then the CPU score went up from 6,700 ish to 10,300 so the CPU score thumbs up for this uh, Ryzen 7 3700X all right, guys, now we're going to run a Superposition Benchmark by Unigen. They also do a pretty good job testing GPU and CPU, and we'll see what the result will be. Eight thousand nine hundred eighty-four. I'll crunch the numbers, put it all in a uh, visually pleasing form, and then you will be able to compare the Ryzen 5 3500, the Ryzen 5 3600, and the Ryzen 7 3700X. Now we have all the numbers in a more presentable format. So we used Cinebench, we used 3D Mark Time Spy with uh, showing the total score, the graphics score, and the CPU score, and Unigen Superposition. We're comparing a Ryzen 7 3700X, which is a 8-core 16-thread CPU, a Ryzen 5 3600, which is a 6-core 12-thread, and a Ryzen 5 3500, which is a 6-core 6-thread CPU. And um, in particular, in the Cinebench multi-core score, we see a huge improvement. It's more than doubled. Uh, the score of a uh, Ryzen 5 3500, which is nice um, and which will show in video editing uh, huge time savings. Also in the uh, 
3 dmark times by cbu score we can see a huge uptick there as well um, whereas in all the other benchmarks we ran um, we barely see any change maybe a little bit of an improvement uh, especially Unigen superposition is a more GPU bound um, application or benchmark and there you can see just a slight improvement but yeah if you do a lot of CPU heavy work with your computer uh, video editing or photo rendering you might benefit from a upgrade from a Ryzen 5 3500 or Ryzen 5 3600 to a Ryzen 7 3700X. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this type of content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.